Hi, good morning and good evening. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You are watching Mainframe Videos JCL Tutorial 8. So, in this video, I would like to share about the GDG, which is one of the important concepts in the JCL language. What does GDG? What does GDG stands for? And where do we use this GDG? And what is the significance of GDG? And how important plays a role in when handling with the high volume of data days, data in mainframe environment. So let's go ahead and look into the details of the GDG. GDG stands for Generation Data Group. It is a collection of multiple sequential data sets with same attributes with unique data set names. So here it will have a standard uh, base created and uh, it will have a multiple generations to a standard name. Okay. Uh, the attributes like record length, record format, data set type and the block size is created. See, uh, I can give you some real time example. So, I'm working in one of the insurance company. So, where or, or you can take the banking banking sector. Say, so daily a trading or a, a transactions daily uh, transactions happens it might be a uh, weekly transactions it might they wanted to have separate transactions created there's a weekly transactions monthly transactions and the quarterly or something else so 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 what I will do is uh, I can create a standard GDG base with having uh, it with creating a data set name with uh, something TSO dot uh, user dot a week I will give a standard uh, uh, let me type it here like TSO TSO dot something TSP dot accounts uh, dot week so this I will create a standard uh, uh, base so this base to I want to track the information of the data I want to store a uh, day to uh, day to day data into this base. So I want to keep track of the weekly information to a standard uh, to a specific data set name. How do I remember? Instead of giving multiple names, so what I will do is just I will keep define a base and keep on adding the generation to this base. So which help me to easily to track and easily to understand. In the same way. I can have a monthly monthly base created and added generations so I hope this would be helpful uh, the steps to create a GDG there are mainly three steps uh, in order to create a GDG creating a GDG base and uh, adding a data set to a base that is adding generation to a base and accessing generation that is accessing data sets so GDG these are the three important steps so first is creating a G GDG base and uh, creating a data sets or adding a generations and accessing the generations creating a GDG base then adding generations to this GDG base and then accessing the generation in order to add a generation you need to add a plus one and in order to accept the generation it should be zero minus one or minus two so now the question comes how to create a base so it is a user defined name must be formed between 1 to 44 alpha numeric character the base name is created with IBM utility called ID camps for one base name maximum 255 data sets can be created that is between 1 to 255 can choose any number of generation as per your project requirements so so let's straight away look into the example this is the job card and you need to use the ID camps as the utility in order to create a, a base so define GDG is the standard definition you need to give in this parameters so you, you give you a uh, standard what I can say your base name the limit I want to use maximum 45 generation to my building and the scratch no scratch empty no empty these are the very different parameters we pass it to define GDG so let's see what is scratch, what is no scratch, what is empty and no empty. Scratch. It deletes all generations with lim when limit is reached. Okay. And no scratch. It deletes only oldest generation when limit is reached. 
empty it uncatalog all generations when limit is reach it uncatalog only oldest generation when limit is reach so now now we are created the base now we will add a generations so how to add a generations or data set to base adding a base name to the generation is same like ps normally how do we create a ps this in the same way we can create a generation it should be coded with plus one and dispositional parameter must be new catalog so the same the job card uh, you use IB general as a utility so this is your building and uh, what does it it copies the data from this to this is a new generation data see observe this is unit and this is test okay so here you have to specify all the disposition space I'll recall and these things so what is happening over here is daily I receive a billing data from a pro, uh, from a upstream system to a normal data set so where I want to make a copy of those just I wanted to co make a copy keep a copy I mean as I said my in my example I wanted to key maintain a weekly database weekly generations so every day I will receive a data with a standard master file and I will I need to backup I created with something like test building plus fun so it keeps on adding to this up to the maximum 45 so this is the way we add a generation or data set so how to access the generation so GDG data set can be accessed by using base name with 0 to access current generation minus 1 to access previous generation and minus 2 to access that generation it is simple so if you are if you want to access it if you can z give 0 that's it if you if the present generation the minus 1 you want to access the previous day data or the previous previous days so based on the generation you can go to minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 0 is the latest and the minus 1 is the oldest and minus 2 is the previous days so in this way you can create multiple generations so I mean or you you access the generations I hope you all enjoyed this video that's so this is all about the GDG GDG I would be coming up with more important important topics in JCL COBOL CICS and DB2 keep watching keep subscribing these videos if you like this video share it or comment on this video thank you for watching have a great and wonderful evening